The mission reason is the difficulty of atmosphere thickening on Mars, which is an essential condition for the multiplanetary life of humanity. To advance this scenario, we have designed the Genesis 111 that may contribute to the release of greenhouse gases into Martian atmosphere. Genesis 111 makes it possible to inject earthly soil microbes and enable plant rooting into extraterrestrial soils. This high technology concept supports terraformation, including atmosphere thickening, which contribute to a sustainable future, particularly in establishing human colonies on planet Mars and beyond. Genesis rocket capsules are planned to be loaded into Starship-sized spacecrafts launched from the Earth. This spacecraft size is recommended considering its significant payload capacity. Then, the capsules are being transported to remote places and exposed to the atmosphere of other planets. Current travel time to planet Mars varies between seven to eight months when planet Earth and Mars are the closest. Capsules can be dropped there from spacecrafts and they fall while spinning owing to stabilizer fins installed at the nose. Considering the presently known average thickness of ice sheet on the surface of Mars, 1.5 meter long tubes are being installed in the prototypes. Upon impact, the capsule is drilled into the topsoil located under the ice sheet. There is very little light available on, on the Mars. You should imagine it as being uh, like sunset over daytime. Uh, therefore, uh, therefore, we need to illuminate the plants, and this is done via LEDs, which are disposed around the circle. Uh, these are powered by lithium-ion batteries, which are indeed rechargeable, and they are being recharged continuously from the solar panels. The number of connections of layers on the nose are matched with tube layers securing thermal insulation. A plant is planted into the innermost layer of the nose, which also functions as a drill bit and filled exclusively with earth-based control soil. Holes are punched at the top third part of the innermost layer, inducing roots to reach first the bottom of the drill bit and then grow upward such that plants take up all essential micro and macronutrients prior to growing into the next layer. In the following spaces between drill bit layers, ratio of Mars soil stimulant is being continuously increased with respect to the initial control soil. We have discovered a way to release plant roots from the capsule without losing any internal pressure. Such a system may enable the survival of transported microbes over a longer time as compared to using only bacteria and archaea cells without a larger microscopic organism. CO2 is produced by root respiration and soil microbial activity, allowing gas filling on the Martian soil spores from the bottom upward. We believe that as a first step, plants need to be planted on Mars before colonization can be initiated. Earthly soil microorganisms present at the time when plant roots are injected into Martian soil will generate heat and greenhouse gases, contributing to atmosphere thickening. To increase soil microbial activity, one should provide optimal heat and light for plant growing. For this, we have designed Medusa, which is a removable unit supplying energy and light to the rocket capsule. It is accessible to rovers for periodic replacement when necessary. To stay updated with our milestones, subscribe on our webpage. Genesis 111, a partnership in terraformation.